Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to run Spring Boot application from the command line. As we know that we can run Spring Boot application as a standalone using embedded Tomcat server in IDE, right? So in IDE we basically right click on the Spring Boot main entry point class and we run it as a Java application or Java Spring Boot app. However, we may want to run our Spring Boot application from outside the IDE and the one option is we can use a command line to run our Spring Boot application. Basically there are two options. So first option is we can use java hyphen jar command. Next option is we can use Spring Boot Marvin plugin that is Marvin Spring Boot run command. So these are the two options we can use to run our Spring Boot app from the command line. So in this video we are gonna quickly create a Spring Boot application and we implement a single simple rest web service and we make it as a jar artifact and we run our spring boot jar file from the command line using both the approaches okay let's go ahead and let's quickly create a spring boot project and let us see how to run spring boot application from the command line I am in Eclipse STS ID. Let's go ahead and let's create a Spring Boot project. Go to the file new and then choose Spring Starter project. So this is a Spring Initializer website which is integrated in Eclipse STS ID. So I am going to give a name to the project as Spring Boot. Uh, Spring Boot app, something like this, and type as a Marvin, packaging as a jar, Java version 8, language Java. And group ID, uh, I am going to keep net.java guides. You can view any group ID that you want. Artifact ID is Spring Boot app. Version keep default as it is. And this is a demo project for Spring Boot. And package net.java guides dot Spring Boot. So once you are happy with the details, click next. And here we need to choose Spring Web Starter Dependency. So you have to choose this dependency because it internally provides you know apache tomcat as a default embedded container okay so basically whenever we create a jar file up a spring boot project we need not to externally install apache tomcat server because it comes with out of the box uh, apache tomcat as a default embedded container all right great so once you select spring boot web starter dependency click on finish this will create a spring boot app project in eclipse sts id let's quickly create a simple web service so this is a spring boot app application this is the entry point of our spring boot project now here i will create a class so let's call it as welcome controller all right and let's annotate this uh, class with the app date a rest controller annotation and let's quickly create a rest endpoint public uh, string so to keep it simple i will just return a string welcome and let me return here welcome to spring boot app something like this let's annotate this method with at the rate and get mapping it's a pretty simple uh, rest api if you want to develop if you want to know how to develop spring boot rest web service then you can visit my previous video tutorials uh, where i have shown you how to develop crude rest web services using spring boot okay so i will give an endpoint url as welcome like this so this is a pretty simple rest api now what we will do we will create a war file so let's run it as a marvin build so before that let me open the pom.xml and here you can see this is the plugin that you that we want to run spring boot app from the command line as a executable jar file so now let's run as a marvin build right click run as marvin build and we'll create a jar file of this project Marvin build is success. What we can do is we can right click on a project, refresh it, 
so look at here under target folder you can see spring boot app jar okay so this, this is the jar file we are going to run from the command line all right uh, what we can do here is now right click on target go to the properties and the location so open this location in a file system and here go to the target folder and let's copy the name of the jar file okay and open this location in a command line now just type the command java hyphen jar and the name of the artifact that is jar file let's hit enter so this will run a spring boot application in an embedded tomcat server from the command line so look at here embedded tomcat server started on port 8080 so this is the first option we can use java hyphen jar to run a spring boot application from the command line so let's open the application from the browser open the chrome browser and just type a localhost 8080 in a tab here so this is the default page error page and here we need to type the welcome so this is the rest api we have created right so look at here rest api returns welcome to spring boot app so we have created a welcome rest api and we have written welcome to spring boot app right so this is the string that just printed on a web browser so this is the first option and second option is we can use spring boot maven plugin here spring boot maven plugin and we can use maven spring boot colon run command to run spring boot application uh, through command line so let us see how to do it now let us say how to run spring boot application from the command line using you know maven plugin this is the second option so just control c and here uh, what we'll do we'll use maven plugin here so basically if you have already installed apache maven then you can use this command mun maven command if you don't install apache maven on your local machine then you can just type mun maven w so spring boot will automatically provide you the apache maven all right and here we are going to skip JUnit test cases for that just enter this command here so it will skip JUnit test cases and here we type spring boot colon run command so basically we use this command to run our spring boot application from the command line hit enter so let's wait for a moment okay great so look at here our application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 so let's go ahead and let's access this application from the browser so look at here this is the web uh, this is the rest api just refresh it and look at here web welcome to spring boot app so this is the response of this rest api all right so this is how basically uh, we run spring boot application from the command line all right we have seen that there are two options one option is using jar hyphen java hyphen jar command and second option is using spring boot maven plugin so these are the two options we can use to run our spring boot application from the command line all right i hope you understood how to run spring boot application in the command line thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video